impression of Lucian for uh, ESO. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I came back for Lucian in uh, Le- Legends. Yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm back as Lucian. So he never leaves me. Um, <laughs> You know, and everybody keeps saying that he wants to give cheese to everyone, but as you know, he says cheese for no one, which is just as good a celebration if you don't like cheese. <laughs> yeah. My favorite yeah. My favorite voices you've done was Hermaeus Moore and Fox. I grew up with when I was when I was, you know, before seventeen, I used to play, you know, Oblivion and Skyrim and Fallout. So I remember Fox and Hermaeus Mora and Shea Ogorak. Oh yeah. Now, uh, were you? Did any of them make you nervous at all? When I played Oblivion, uh, Shale Gorath and Lucy and Lachance did make me nervous. They kind of. When you, my favorite scene with Lucian is when he comes out. He's like, "What have you done?" You know. <laughs> yeah. In the middle of the thunderstorm, and that's pretty. Cool. It comes out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people have told me that that scared them, which delights me. The only time I ever got scared with one of my own characters was when one of the Dramora jumped out in one of the Oblivion uh, Towers and started yelling at me, and I jumped out of my seat, and then I had to laugh because I scared myself. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. Yeah. Do you... I, only have, I only have one disappointment with Shea Korath. Hmm, Really? He's he's not a Funko Pop yet. How can we not have a Shea Gorth Funko Pop? Give him a nice slice of cheese and make him a Funko Pop. He'd be great. <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> what is um? Have you done like acting, like television and film, or do you just mainly do voiceovers? No, I've done a number of things. Last summer, I did a, a pilot that hasn't been picked up with Ed Asner. Yeah. And I've done uh, some films. I was in a movie called A Dirty Shame. I was in Invasion with uh, um, Nicole Kidman uh, for Rich or Poor. Um, mm-hmm. A number of different films. I was on like Homicide, The Wire. Uh, I used to do the voice for some TV shows as well, like America's Most Wanted. I acted in that as a few different bad guys. <laughs> and I also did a... Uh, the voiceover, so you tune in and be like, tonight on America's Most Wanted, here's John Walsh. So basically you can say, I actually fought crime with my voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting career to me, you know, you have so much fun with it and you can go different ranges, you know, I think it's fascinating. Oh, it is, and the thing is, try to be somebody different than everyone so people don't know that it's you. To me, I mean, being famous is way overrated. Uh, being able to work and continue to work, that's what it's all about because that's when it's fun. Um, I was on Veep, with, uh, had a scene with Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who, by the way, is just about as nice a person as they come. Very mm-hmm. funny, very nice, very talented, uh, deserves every good thing she gets. But there were so many cool, fun people on that show, and you can just tell they loved what they do. And that's the thing. It's uh, it, That's why everybody wants to do it, because it, it's a fun job. Yeah, it is. That's why I want to be a voice actor and actor when I'm older. And I've done... You well, know, how old are you now? 17. Well, there's no time like the present. <laughs> you can start any time you want to. Just you need to put together some voice demo tapes. Uh, go to a, there's a website called voice123.com, mm-hmm. and there's also one called voices.com. And if you go to those, you'll see a number of actors have put their voice demos online. Go listen to their voice demos. Listen to how they put those together. And you can start, you have uh, re, you have recording equipment and things of that sort, yes? Yeah, that's what I do for start, the show. Yeah, start building voice demo tapes for yourself. Uh, even on my website, which is westjohnson.com, you can go there and listen to some of my voice tapes and listen to some of the uh, demos that I've done. I have a few of them on uh, YouTube around, but those two websites I mentioned to you are a great place to start. That way you can look at people's resumes. You can look at their, listen to their demo tapes and listen to what professionals who are getting work have done. Uh, there is no crime in sort of uh, you know copying formats. You don't want to do it word for word, obviously. No. But you want to l- listen to their formats and then copy their professional uh, format and style to get yours done right. 
um, a, a, a voice acting reel is your calling card in this business. And people listen to that and get an idea of A, your range, B, your professionality. And uh, a lot of that is done in the first 30 seconds. If 30 seconds of your voice reel is listened to, then consider yourself lucky. Most people listen to a min- uh, less than that and decide whether or not they want to continue. Yeah. But um, I like to do this show because... Yeah, start, start, start researching now. Start doing your voiceover reels. Start getting things prepared and get ready for it. The world is out there, Trey. It's waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I've had fun with this show, my radio show, for four and a half years, be five years in, in a couple weeks. But... Um, I've enjoyed talking to wonderful people and getting their advice and getting their stories out there, and it's been fun, and I've enjoyed that very much. Well, one day, sir, you'll have to be interviewing yourself, and that'll be awkward. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, thank you um, for letting me have the chance to interview you, and it's been fun, and um, I hope we'll talk again soon. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. And is there anything else? One last question you would like to ask? Um, anything. Anything at all, sir. Um, no, I think we've covered most of everything. Ah, oh, well then, Trey, old. I'll wish you a fair thee well. Ta-ta. <laughs> Ta-ta to you, too. <laughs>